guys, in this video I will show you one of the plugins you absolutely should have on your WordPress website to increase your search engine optimization. I won't have time to include all of my favorite SEO plugins here, but if you want to know them, just join my free course which is explaining how to drastically increase the revenue from your WordPress blog, but the very first video is all about SEO and there I'm sharing all the awesome plugins I'm using to skyrocket my rankings and the next videos are full of tips for really getting the most money out of your website. So click in the link in the description to get instant access or go to wplightbulb.com slash course. However, in this video I will show you the best free SEO plugin you can get right now and I will explain to you how to use it to its full potential. So let's begin. It's called SEO by Yoast and I won't bore you with the installation of it. If you don't know how to install a plugin, click here to watch my video explaining this. So SEO by Yoast is a plugin which gives you great recommendations for what to do and how to optimize each and every post or page on your website and it gives you a preview of how your website will look in the search engine's results page. Now I will show you the most important features and I will try to keep this video as informative as I can but still short and not boring. So first you should set up the global details. This is the title and meta description for your home page and also the default title and meta description for your posts, pages, categories and more. You can use the short variables to ensure that the default meta description and titles are unique for every post or page. However, I strongly suggest you to manually go through every post and page so you can squeeze the most out of the meta space. Let me show you how to do this. So this is a post which is targeting the keyword, the WP Lightbulb course is awesome. So let's scroll down and enter the keyword as a focus keyword. So the plugin can start giving us suggestions. So let's update and see what's happening. Now you can see that the SEO light is red, which is poor, and we need to improve this article to make it green. I'll scroll down, here the plugin is showing me where I should include the keyword. Also if I go to page analysis, it's giving me more specific suggestions. So we can optimize these and improve our SEO rankings. Another thing you should do for every post or page is to configure your open graph settings. So when somebody shares your website in Facebook, it will appear with a nice big image and a catchy title. And last but not least, the plugin is creating a sitemap for your website, which is great to have in first place. But one more thing you can do with it is to submit it in the Google Webmaster Tools. That way your website will be indexed faster and some say that it will rank you higher. So in short, these are the most important things about the SEO for WordPress. In my course, I'm also showing you what you should and what you shouldn't do with your images, links and more for the best search engine optimization. So check it out. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more straight to the point WordPress tutorials. See you soon.